dear students welcome to the chapter exponent and power in this chapter there is an important concept that is laws of exponents what are laws of exponents there are certain rules made for the powers which are used to solve or simplify an expression easier or in easy method those set of rules are called laws of exponents before getting the concept let's recall what are exponents and powers exponent and powers when a number is repeatedly multiplied by itself let us take a number a which is multiplied repeatedly n number of times that means that a the number which is repeatedly multiplied is called the base and how many number of times it is multiplied that is called exponent and the total expression is referred as a power now let's get the rules which are used to solve in easy method those are the laws of exponents number 1 product of powers product of power means when a raised to the power n is multiplied by a raised to the power m here both the a r both the base r same and exponents are different so when we are finding the product let us find the sum of the exponent with the same power with sorry with the same base so let us take one example let us take 5 raised to the power 4 multiplied by base should be same so 5 cubed that is equal to 5 raised to the power 4 plus 3 that is equal to 5 raised to the power 7 but it is why let us verify 5 raised to the power 4 means 5 is multiplied 4 times and 5 cubed means 5 is multiplied 3 times now overall how many times 5 is multiplied 7 times so we can express that 5 raised to the power 7 now we are getting the same value so this is the easy method when both the base are same and exponents are different just we have to add the exponents to get the product now next one is quotient of power when quotient of power means just we have to divide with the same base maybe exponent different or maybe same now let us take one example when both the base are same and we are going to divide only we have to subtract the exponents with the same base let us take one example 2 raised to the power 5 divided by with the same base means 2 we have to take 2 raised to the power 4 that is equal to by using the laws of exponent just we have to subtract with the same base the exponent should be subtracted that means 2 raised to the power 5 minus 4 equal to 1 and that is equal to 2 only but why it is let us verify 2 raised to the power 5 means 2 is multiplied 5 times divided by 2 raised to the power 4 that means 2 is multiplied 4 times that is equal to 4 2 will be cancelled out or reduced and only 1 2 is remaining now by using the laws of exponent we are getting it in simpler way next one power of power that means when we are getting a raised to the power n whole raised to the power m that means we have to just multiply the exponents a raised to the power n into m now let us take one example 3 raised to the power 4 whole 
square. That means just two, you have to multiply three raised to three raised to the power four into two. That is equal to three raised to the power eight. Now, let us verify how it is. That's equal to three raised to the power four whole square. Any number whole square means it is multiplied two times by itself. So three raised to the power four multiplied by three raised to the power now when 3 raised to the power 4 means 3 is multiplied 4 times now 3 is multiplied 8 times so when we are getting the power of power that means just we have to multiply the exponents next power of product when both the base are different but the exponents are same here a raised to the power n is multiplied by b raised to the power n just we have to multiply the base with the same exponent now let us take one example 2 raised to the power 4 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 4 here both the base are different but both the exponents are different sorry same now we have to multiply both the base 2 multiplied by 3 whole to the power 4 that is equal to 6 raised to the power 4 but why let us take let us verify 2 raised to the power 4 we can write 2 multiplied by 4 times and 3 raised to the power 4 means 3 is multiplied 4 times That is equal to 1, 2 and 1, 3. We can make a set. 2 into 3, 2 into 3, 2 into 3, 2 into 3. And now we are getting 4 set. Now, 2 into 3, when we are getting 4 times 2 into 3 is multiplied. That means 2 into 3 raised to the power 4. That is equal to 6 raised to the power 4. Now also we are getting the same answer. Next one. Power of percent. Power of percent means when we are dividing two powers with the same, with a different base but the same exponent. So just we are dividing the base with the same exponent. Let us take one example. 5 raised to the power 4 divided by 6 raised to the power 4. Here both the base are different but exponents are, uh, exponents are same. Now according to the rule just 5 upon 6 whole raised to the power 4. Now let us verify 5 raised to the power 4 means 5 is multiplied 4 times and 6 raised to the power 4 means 6 is multiplied 4 times. Now, let us 5 upon 6. Now, 5 upon 6. 5 upon 6. 5 upon 6 is multiplied 4 times. That means we can write 5 upon 6 raised to the power 4. Now, also we are getting the same. But when we are using the laws of exponents, when we are using the rule, directly we can find the answer. Now, zero power rule what do you mean by zero power rule zero power means any numbers raised to the power zero equal to always one but it is why let us take two raised to the power for ex one example four raised to the power one that we know that four raised to the power equal to two two square equal to two raised to the power one into two two cubed equal to 2 square is multiplied by another 2. 2 raised to the power 4 equal to 2 cubed is multiplied by another 2. 2 raised to the power 5 means 2 raised to the power 4 is multiplied by another 2. So, when we are getting 1 1 exponent greater, bigger, we are getting, we are 
uh, more base we are multiplying. Now let us take the reverse order. When we are getting two raised to the power four, that means two raised to the power five divided by two raised to the power four. Sorry, two raised to the power one. Now, two raised to the power four means two raised to the power sorry two raised to the power three means two to the power four divided by two. Now, two square means two cubed divided by two. Now, two raised to the power one means two square upon two. Now, when we are getting the one one exponent smaller up after four three two one after that it's turn up zero two raised to the power zero equal to two raised to the power one upon two that is equal to two upon two that is equal to one in this way we can prove any numbers raised to the power zero equal to one next one is negative power just like that when a raised to the power n equal to now it's time to find the negative power what do you mean by negative power already we have learned that when a base is multiplied n number of times that means it is we are writing a raised to the power n so when we are adding 2 raised to the power 5 means 2 is multiplied 5 times. But when it is negative power, when it is 2 raised to the power 5, that means how many times 2 will be multiplied? How to get? Now, we cannot find how many, uh, we cannot find that negative 5 number of times you can multiply 2. So, what we have to do? Let us take the reciprocal of 2. What is the reciprocal of 2? Half. Now, when we are getting the reciprocal of 2, we just make the exponent positive. In this way, any negative power, that means we are getting the reciprocal of the base and just make the exponent positive. Let us take another example. 2 upon 3 whole raised to the power negative 1. That means, what do we have to do? How to solve this one? Negative one number of time we cannot multiply. So, just make its reciprocal. 2 upon 3 means 3 upon 2. And we have to make the exponent positive 1. That's equal to 3 upon 2. That is reciprocal. Hope everyone understood. Thank you.